In Florida, there are 30 species of frogs and toads. Some species are abundant, while others are rare. On this record, we present recordings of the most common frogs and toads from the state. Frog calls are an important form of communication. They may convey a message about the location of a frog or its reproductive status. Or, for instance, there are alarm calls and warning calls. The sounds themselves range from the high bell-like notes of the little grass frog to the low-pitched croaks of large bullfrogs. Some frogs call only at night, while others may be heard throughout the day. Some call primarily during the winter and spring, while others are most often heard in the early summer. Sometimes a breeding chorus is composed entirely of one species, but on rare nights, eight or more species may be heard singing together. The southern toad is the most common toad in Florida. Sometimes you see thousands of tiny frogs everywhere underfoot. They are probably newly metamorphosed southern toads, all emerging from the breeding pond together. A large breeding chorus of southern toads sounds like this. The oak toad is a tiny toad often found in pine woods as well as oak woods. The breeding call of this toad is a high whistled chirp. The southern cricket frog is one of our most common small frogs. Large choruses of this frog sound much like crickets. This lone cricket frog was recorded at midday. The spring peeper, famous as a herald of warmer spring weather, is often heard during winter as well as early spring. It sometimes calls alone, or a chorus of several may be heard. Notice occasional rapid trill notes indicating mating activity. The most commonly seen small frog in this area is the green tree frog. This frog is bright lime green with a prominent white or pale yellow stripe along each side. Often the males are heard in chorus, each male calling at a different pitch. The resulting sound is quite remarkable.
Some tree frogs utter a peculiar call which seems to precede rainstorms. It's possible their clue is a rise in humidity or a sudden barometric change. At any rate, this call is different from the typical mating call of the male. Here is the rain call of a green tree frog. A close relative of the green tree frog is the barking tree frog. This frog is much larger than the green tree frog and is boldly marked, often with dark spots and vivid colors. A chorus of barking tree frogs sounds rather like a pack of hounds. A small dark frog, often found in pine flatwoods or cypress heads, is the pine woods tree frog. Although the males occasionally sing alone, they are more often heard in chorus with other males. The squirrel tree frog often gives this call. It is uttered by single frogs, often from the top of a palm tree. A harsh, noisy breeding chorus of squirrel tree frogs is unmistakable. The southern gray tree frog is a relatively large tree frog with very warty skin and irregular cryptic markings. The mating call of the gray tree frog is a simple trill. This frog also has a rain call, but it sounds nearly identical to the mating trill. A smaller tree frog with warty skin is the bird-voiced tree frog. The high-pitched whistles of this frog sound somewhat bird-like and are unique among our local species.
As mentioned earlier, the pitch of a frog sound is often related to the size of the frog. Little grass frogs, the smallest land vertebrates in the United States, give this high tinkling call. Sometimes little grass frogs make this rhythmic sound. There are two small chorus frogs found in our area. Both species are heard primarily in winter and may call together, but they sound quite different. The Florida chorus frog sounds like someone running their fingers slowly over the teeth of a comb. The ornate chorus frog gives a series of sharp chirp notes strung together in a regular pattern. The ornate chorus frog is named for its highly variable and beautiful color patterns of red, yellow, brown, black, and green. A tiny frog with a surprisingly loud voice is the eastern narrow-mouthed toad. This animal is not a toad at all, but belongs to a distinctive family of primarily tropical frogs. Here is the peculiar call of the narrow-mouthed toad, heard first with insects and then cricket frogs in the background. The bullfrog is the most famous of all North American frogs and is also the largest. Reaching a maximum body length of 8 inches, this frog may measure over a foot long with its legs outstretched. The voice of this frog is a low-pitched drone. <coughs>
A closely related frog, often called the southern bullfrog, is the pig frog. Pig frogs are named for their peculiar grunt-like calls. You'll hear cricket frogs in the background. <coughs> The carpenter frog is associated with sphagnum bogs in the north, but here in Florida it is found in ponds and creeks. These carpenter frogs were recorded in the Okefenokee Swamp. The frog species, which in other parts of the country is called the common green frog, is in Florida plain brown in color and has been named the bronze frog. This frog hides under logs or in stumps along the banks of creeks and rivers, as well as in ponds. The call of the bronze frog is a twang, which sounds like someone plucking a banjo string. In this recording, we hear a distant call, then after a long pause, a nearby bronze frog utters his short note. This call usually has three twangs, but only one is heard here. The southern leopard frog has a very diverse vocabulary. This frog can be heard in every month of the year. First we hear some chuckling calls. Then, a sound reminiscent of rubbing a balloon. And finally, a chorus of several different calls. The last frog presented here is the Florida gopher frog. This animal is strictly nocturnal and often spends the day deep in a gopher tortoise burrow. The gopher frog is strikingly marked and its loud voice is heard here in chorus. Frogs and toads often call in mixed choruses. 
The following recording was made early one winter evening just south of Gainesville. The quiet sounds of little grass frogs are joined first by ornate chorus frogs, then spring peepers. A few moments later, the chorus frogs and peepers broke into this sustained performance. Several miles down the road, the ornate chorus frogs have been replaced by Florida chorus frogs. The chorus frogs and peepers call incessantly, accompanied by the barks of neighborhood dogs. You'll hear raindrops occasionally hitting the microphone. During the spring, there can be a bewildering variety of frogs calling simultaneously. Four species can be heard on this short recording, made in early May. Let's listen to that recording again. First, you hear high-pitched oak toads and little grass frogs. Then, a loud squirrel tree frog adds his repetitive note as narrow-mouthed toads call in the background. By summer, it takes real concentration to sort out the confusion. Here is a chorus recorded during late July. How many species can you identify? A similar chorus recorded south of Gainesville late that same evening includes at least seven species. Thank <laughs> you. 
The following recording was made during an August thunderstorm. At least three species of tree frogs are calling at this location near Mariana, Florida. Learning to identify the voices of frogs and toads can be both interesting and challenging. With the coming of each season, new voices are added to the chorus. Perhaps this record will encourage you to walk out some evening, find a quiet spot near a small pond, and just listen. <laughs> 